What happens if you don't treat diabetes? The prevalence of diabetes is increasing rapidly, making it a major contributor to mortality rates in the United States. Nearly 2 million people in the United States are diagnosed with diabetes each year. 1 in 10 American adults, or more than 29 million people, have diabetes right now. If current trends continue, by the year 2050, as many as one-third of Americans could be affected by the disease. The management of blood sugar levels in people with diabetes is a difficult and ongoing medical challenge. Complications from untreated diabetes include cardiovascular disease, nerve damage, blindness, kidney failure, and amputations. Also, compared to individuals without diabetes, those with diabetes have a mortality rate that is 50% greater. It's bad for the patient and bad for society if diabetes isn't treated. The estimated total cost of diabetes in 2012 was $245 billion, a 41% increase from 2007, according to the American Diabetes Association's report Economic Costs of Diabetes in the U.S. in 2012. There are $176 billion in direct medical expenses and an additional $69 billion in lost productivity as a result of factors like higher absenteeism, decreased productivity while at work, and premature mortality. In addition, the overall cost of healthcare for persons with diabetes is around double that of those without the condition. These costs are unsustainable and highlight the necessity for a comprehensive diabetes treatment strategy that includes food, exercise, and medication. Improved adherence to diabetic medications might reduce emergency room visits by more than 1 million cases and save $8.3 billion annually, making treatment adherence a particularly important subject. Even while the mortality rate for those with diabetes has decreased by 40% since 1997, millions of people still do not have their diabetes under control, and millions more are still undiagnosed and at danger of developing greater health consequences. There is hope for additional progress in lowering the prevalence of diabetes and enhancing the quality of life for those with the disease because to the 180 new drugs being developed to treat type 1 and type 2 diabetes and diseases associated to the condition.